Welcome to Mark Hughes Photography Video. So as you may know, um, I started this vlog mostly to try and give updates as to what's going on. But I think I'm going to try and focus on a few more educational aspects on my journey. So um, I've come up with this plan to specifically try and do a repeat photography project. The project is called the Forever Families Project. And the intent was to reproduce photographs. Um, well, not so much reproduce them, but redo photographs of animals I had originally taken before they were adopted. Um, uh, again, in their forever families, their families that adopted them, and learn and meet a bit about their families, the families themselves. So in that process, we've plunged ahead and started going ahead and trying to make that happen. It's been really interesting. We've met lots of really interesting people with very diverse stories on how they came to their animals and how their animals have fit into their family and what their animals mean to them. There are passionate people who all have some interesting stories to tell. So as part of that, this project has kind of grown a lot. And as part of growing, it's basically become a, more than just an exercise in trying to redo photographs. So our plan is that in a couple months, we will schedule everybody in and we'll actually take photographs of the, the families. And we'll do a variety of different approaches to trying to make that happen. But I think, uh, I think it'll be really good. We're trying to get a bit of a feel and the character of the animal as well as, uh, as the family that adopted them and that they fit in with so well. So part of this is going to be, okay, so you do that, you take the photographs, you um, do the photographs again, the photographs are pretty, so what? So that's where the next step comes. The next step is to do something with it. Um, potentially try and do a website. And I probably will do a website as well. But I think the intent is to try and do this as a bit of a book. Now a book, to be interesting, a book has got to have uh, stories. It's got to be compelling. It's got to be interest. It's got to have some human interest associated with it, as well as great photos. I can deal with the photos and trying to make the images very, very appealing. But um, I need to work on the story part. So we're going to try and develop and flesh that out. We'll have interviews with the individuals involved, as well as uh, come up with plans for a photo book. Now, photo books are kind of interesting. I've done photo books before, usually on much smaller runs, uh, you know, specialty papers, high-end photo books. Um, but that's not really what we're talking about. We're talking about a more conventional photo, photo book. Um, something that would be more readily available, more accessible, and something people might want to purchase because they think it's pretty cool. Um, I'm thinking things like um, some of the Momo series. If you're not familiar with Andrew Knapp and his Finding Momo, uh, it's a wonderful dog. Andrew's a wonderful photographer. I really enjoy his stuff. I'll put the link down below um, but uh, I recommend you take take a look at that there's also the humans of New York which is a famous series that turned into a book uh, again started off as photographing individuals but their stories were really quite compelling and almost became a bigger part of it that eventually became a book as well uh, similarly the dogist is kind of a dog version of uh, of the humans of New York um, and again, I'll put links to both of those in the, in the, in the comments below. Uh, but, um, I think this will be an interesting book. I think it will be focusing specifically on these rescue families, rescue dogs and the families that, 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 that adopted them and their stories. So that's the concept, the high concept. And then the next thing is to try and think about the photo book. So if you're trying to develop a photo book, um, self-publishing and going to a publishing house are two different approaches. From what I can gather, 
uh, self-publishing is easier from a from certain perspectives. You're already uh, you're already accepted, um, but um, but it's harder because you, you're responsible for all your own marketing, development of the product, the editing, production. You take all the risk. So I think I'm going to do that. The other option is to go to a publishing house, but there are long delays. You have to have a finished product before you do that. And that's not going to work. Now I'm going to make it a bit more interesting because I think I may actually try to go with a crowdfunded funded approach to this. I'm going to try and, um, and set up an Indiegogo uh, um, campaign and see if we can get some partial funding or maybe full funding for the project ahead of time. Um, the good thing about using one of these uh, campaign-based crowdsourcing um, platforms is it really forces you to think hard about your project ahead of time and to come up and deal with the nuts and bolts of all the parameters and even to come up with a prototype ahead of time. So um, Indiegogo seems to be a better fit than Kickstarter. Um, they're both very similar. They have slightly different approaches. Um, so I will be using some of my website and my, my, my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and try and publicize the fact that we'll be doing this Indiegogo program. Indiegogo, I, I keep thinking of, uh, there's a there's TV cartoon in Canada when I was growing up. It was called Batfink, and they had... Uh, they had some, what was it, Tippy a go -Go, I think, was the name of one of the characters. So I keep calling it India go, -Go and it's just India go, -Go. Um, Anyway, uh, that, that is totally not something. But um, plan is to try and do that. So as I have more information, I'll publish that. Um, but I thought that as part of doing these vlogs, I'd talk a little bit about the journey of trying to do that. So, so far, I've taken photographs, repeat photographs, uh, in the studio of a number of animals, probably about uh, seven or eight of them. Um, all except one were animals that I photographed previously, either within the last year or within the last seven years. Um, and I have a whole bunch scheduled to come up. Also doing a, uh, we're also doing a fundraiser tomorrow, not tomorrow, um, in a couple of days for gears um they've arranged, arranged for a small mini portrait sessions there'll be me and another photographer in the studio and we will be doing two different portraits of each animal and uh, it should turn out really well i'm 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 pretty excited about that it's, it's uh it's uh gears is a great organization i really enjoy spending time uh helping them out and um and i like them so much uh, i adopted one of the dogs so, um, and I'll show you a photograph. This is my dog, Mocha. And um, this is the dog I adopted through Gears. I already had a dog and I thought that we wouldn't be able to have two dogs at the same time because my other dog, this guy, Jack, who's a lovely, lovely dog. He's unbelievably sweet to us. He's an old guy, he's about 12 years old, um, but he doesn't really get along with other dogs and actually doesn't really get along with a lot of other people. So um, uh, I thought when I met Mocha and she was still a puppy about four months old, that uh, she, would, uh, she would be the kind of dog that could actually work with Jack. Um, and that part was true. The two of them get along famously. They play like mad. They get along with each other. They're, they're fast friends. Um, she is a bit of a nut bar though, and she's crazy high energy, and she is a whole lot more dark than I thought we were going to get from the dark this dog. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It's it's great. It's part of our family. Um, so that's going to be it for this week. Uh, not an overly long vlog, uh, but uh, so but I thought I'd give some insight on the whole rationale between how the photo book will look. Um, we think we're going to have about 40 families and uh, with those 40 families, we will uh, will be able to have probably two sets of spreads associated with it, a number of different photos and see how it goes. Um, I'm hoping it's compelling. I'm hoping it's interesting. I'm hoping that everything turns out. 
um, pretty much the start of this process, the start of my journey, but uh, providing a lot of focus and a lot of uh, energy, both from the families and of course the dogs and cats. And it's not just dogs, it's cats too. Um, that's it. Anyway, that's it for now. Signing off, I'm Mark Hughes.